Google Ads has made a massive change to its conversion tracking setup and we need to talk about it. And the big change I'm referring to is that some of the biggest conversion tracking attributes and models such as first click, linear, position based and time decay are getting removed forever. And here's what Google Ads has to say about it and how it impacts your e-commerce brand as a whole. So right here, if we go on Google Ads updates page, we can see that there's a timing update, which is first click linear time decay and position based attribution models are going away and this was released back in june 21 and they also ref mentioned that starting mid july so earlier last month it's basically that's the time period of when these four attribution models would completely start to get removed now if you were a fan of these four different attribution models first and foremost you need to go back into your google ads conversion tracking tag and change that conversion tracking tag from one of these four attribution models to another one like last click data driven etc because you will no longer have them even be available as an option to choose from to kind of elaborate further let's go inside this google ads account and look at the different attribution models which were possible and available before which is data driven last click first click linear time decay and position based so if these four these bottom four are to get completely removed this means only last click and data driven will now be available for every brand and this is a very big deal because last click in my opinion it's a very basic model it does get the job done however there's no sorts of additions or extras you can really get to see within your ad account and i personally used to love using things like position based or even linear because those models would be the ones where you would get to see a bit further into what campaign provided what kind of result and whether it only provided half a result or quarter of a result so on and so forth now with last click you will only have full numbers available you get either one sale from a campaign or you get zero sales this does mean now that for newer ad accounts which are using last click which don't have enough data to use data driven your overall scalability for that campaign will be a bit limited and that's because now that campaign or your account as a whole no longer has the ability to look at what is driving lesser sales versus other campaign types which are driving more sales so if there were multiple different kinds of clicks done within one campaign but then another campaign was the main reason why that sale even came these things will no longer be visible with last click so it's a very basic approach now and this kind of gives google and google's algorithm more control to decide things in its own and decide things based on what it feels is right which i don't personally believe is the best approach but that's unfortunately what's happening at the moment but for the brands which now have gone past the situation where they have enough data they have enough sales coming in they can now use data driven which is kind of the second side of the spectrum where it's fully data driven you barely have any inputs here and its own algorithm decides everything on its own which now becomes the the ultimate goal for every e-commerce brand especially if you're using last click because now you want to let the algorithm understand what data it's getting where the sales are coming from and the best way to do that is with the data driven attribution model so now you only have two different options to choose from and what your brand can now start doing to kind of transition is to slowly start changing your conversion tracking codes to one of these two models and the best way to do that is to actually create create a brand new conversion tracking tag right now which is going to be running on a secondary account optimization basis you don't want to just change your primary one to the one of these other conversion tracking attribution models because that could make your sales go to zero overnight to prevent that from happening create these secondary tags you can create two of them one where it's last click and the other one where it's data driven and see how the numbers look like based on what the real numbers are in the shopify backend or the woocommerce backend or whatever you might be using so you want to compare these numbers both the conversions as well as conversion values to the back end understand which is the most realistic and most close to the real numbers and then make that one the primary action optimization because you don't want to be jumping into one or the other without really having data to back it up as to what your account prefers the most because again 
one ad account is different from the other ad account for one data driven might really be crushing it for the other last click might crush it slowly transition your brand into one of these two options because it is going to be mandatory come september i know we have already started doing this for a lot of the brands we handle under my google ads agency your marketing which by the way if you're currently doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but i do want you to check this video out right here on a case study i did of a brand we we recently scaled to over a half a million dollars a month everything from the product landing page to how we launched the ad strategy to scaling etc is covered there it will help you along with this change right here to really scale your brand to the next level